This is James Blake against Yuri Novak. First set to Blake. Tie break here in the second. First point to Blake. Blake's got to keep his head up on that serve. That's the key for his service motion. Blake lost the first set uh, to Eunice Elenawi in the first round and then won the next two, six love, six three. Lost the first set to Gardenzi, then won the next two, six four, six one. That got him to Gonzalez, Fernando Gonzalez. That was yesterday, and again, Blake lost the first set and won it six three, six three. On this point, he complains about the ball circles, the mark. It's out. Chair up uh, checks and agrees with Blake. Talk to any player on the on the circuit and you say, you know, who's maybe the best athlete or the fastest player? Just flat out speed, not tennis speed going side to side. But let's say you're running a 40 like the combine in the NFL or maybe a, a hundred yard dash. I'd say, you know, James Blake may be the fastest guy from point blank. I mean, look at this. I mean, his court coverage out of the hole. What I mean by that is he hits the pass and he jams up to the net. He doesn't wait around, sign Three, autographs, three, and one. sees what Play. develops. Watch him. He hits, and then all of a sudden, watch him dart into your picture. Always moving into play, getting himself into position. 3-1 Blake. Novak took out Cheng Shalkin, then he beat Mark Philippoussis, who two, is back. still struggling. Philippoussis in Australia said that he was going to win Wimbledon this year. We'll find out. He certainly is one of those who's got a chance. And then Novak took out Lubicic, who had beaten Juan Carlos Ferreira, the title holder here. Three points all in the tiebreak. Second set, James Blake. He wins the tiebreak, also wins the match. Talking about Wimbledon, by the way, Goran Ivanizovic, who surprised everybody and himself by winning it last year because of his shoulder injury, will not defend his title. Oh boy, bad cartilage, bad rotator cuff, knocks him out. Gives guys like Federer, Sampras, Philippoussis a better chance. Tim Henman. Boy, wouldn't that country erupt if he could win the Wimbledon championships. Ooh. That's a tough shot. You're in the middle of the court. You have to respect Blake's speed. And so what happens is when you're respecting a guy's speed, you start looking at him instead of watching the ball and executing your shot. That one's almost like a gimme. Good strategist, though, Novak. Not as athletic as Blake, for sure, but chooses his spots very well. Blake slows himself down with that parachute he's got for a haircut. <laughs> Imagine the wind resistance as he's flying up to the net. Five for Blake. Blake just two points away from the match. <laughs> Images of Yannick Noah. And he won the French championships over V Lander. That was in 83, if I remember correctly. He had the dreads going. Match point for Blake at 6-4. He's got a couple. 
Yuri Novak semi finalist at the Australian this year. Thomas Johansson beat him in five sets in the semis. Very close. And first. a great second serve for Blake and then the help from the net on the pass Cliff that's called Greece come on a right there oh yeah clips the net sends the ball over Blake's volley record what a great attitude to smile and laugh it off Turn, got a handle on it, and just couldn't handle that last one. Just hitting the tape and not going over. He juiced it. The tape was good to him. I mean, it was bad to him twice. Cup captain for the uh, Czech Republic. Another match point for Blake. Important for Blake. They hit a nice kick serve this time instead of going for the heater. Develop a point. Pull your opponent off the court. Oh. That was so close. looking for the cross court he's just it's tough to pick his shots Yuri Novak again this is just a high percentage play he's not near as mobile as Blake but strategically he's very good and gets back even 7-7 in the tie break three match points a little bit like Kuchera Michir you know holds the ball in the racket for a lot, very long period of time like right there Blake getting back into position all of a sudden Novak sensing that part of the court open, going to that area. Yeah. Really just a great economy of movement from Novak and suddenly after facing three match points, Novak wins the set. So the third set will decide who gets to the semis here in Rome. Yuri Novak in the third set with a break. 3-2. Blank changing. Blake changing shirts to the Charlie Brown. Blake this time trying to go down the line with the back end, but hangs the pass up. Ranger to saddle. Here's Ranger the approach shot, nice and deep, putting Blake on the run. Now, if you're going to play Blake, the player profile, the scouting report is to go after his backhand. Forehand can be offensive, can flatten it out, he can spin it. Novak's the kind of guy who's just very efficient as a tennis player. He's never, there's never any mental question about, you know, how does he feel? He just gives you the same effort every time. Well, he dismantled Pete Sampras and probably his 
marquee match. I mean, in Los Angeles and Davis Cup play, Slovakia played. The United States talking about the entire world being shocked. Sampras being one of those players. But it's these type of shots where the back backhand here, watch this, slides into the ball, stays low to the ground, deep into the corner. That's right, you know, Luke, he did go down uh, Sampras to, to Novak in the Davis Cup as Novak holds on here and leads by four games to two. Sampras doesn't have a great uh, Davis Cup record that reflects the uh, strength of his overall game and certainly his overall record. Um, losing on grass to Alex Correcha. Does that surprise you or? Yes, it does actually. I think the lack of commitment To that concept where I think you have to I mean you play Davis Cup I was only like a, a guppy on the team I was a towel boy and you know helping the guys get ready a sparring partner but it's a mentality that you commit yourself for the year for that week and I think you have to get in that mental frame around mind and get in that rhythm and it takes a lot out of you I mean I'll never forget that Sampras went over Chesnikov in in Moscow I mean he basically has carried the team on his shoulders it, it, it does take it out of you, there's no question. Becker used to say it takes a week to prepare, a week to play, and then a week to get over it. James Blake will be perennial Davis Cup player for the USA, unless I'm sadly mistaken, because he has really already broken the mold. He's right up there with Andy Roddick as the two best young players in the US. Oh, beautiful forehand. We've seen it off the backhand side. Yerji Novak deciding this time to run around the backhand and drive. Watch this. He flattens it out, puts it through the court. From ESPN 2.